Hi all, Tony from Immortality. Today we want to take a look at Limitless with Chris Hemsworth, TV series in six parts where Chris does longevity anti-aging exercises. In the past several years, longevity is becoming an alternative fitness regime and this is still developing as we uncover more exercises and lifestyle hacks and as science progresses. Chris, it seems, has embarked on all of them in this series. So if you are into a fitness, it might be a primer on adding some longevity exercises. Well worth it. I watched all six episodes. Everything is high quality and well done. The truth is, most days, I feel pretty young. <laughs> but the clock is ticking. Things that might shorten my life are already at work within me. The good news, there's something I can do about it. So, over the next year, I'm taking on six extraordinary challenges. Let's go! Pushing myself to the very limit. To discover how we can all unlock the secrets of living a healthier, longer life. Episode 1, Stress Proof. Chris learns to tame his stress response while attempting a terrifying crane walk. This episode really put me on the edge of my seat. The longevity lesson is to enjoy stress physically rather than letting it hurt. Easier said than done. I'll be asking Chris to put himself in an incredibly stressful situation. Okay, in three days, you'll be walking across that crane. <laughs> um, that tower is 900 feet high. That's 275 meters. Hang on. <laughs> um, yeah, that's high. You, you sound a little I'm nervous. I just kind of want to. Okay, so here's what I need you to do. Mm. I need you to take your shirt off. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Note the use of VR to put so, people in challenging situations in order to help them overcome their fears and terrors. Does it help? The unconscious mind might not know the difference, and it could prove a useful learning tool, like the phantom arm experiment. The VR experience is fascinating. Whoa. Wow. One part of my brain is very aware that it's not real, and the other part of it is screaming, this is crazy, what are we doing, we're going to die. I feel it in my stomach, the same nervous energy that I'd have if I was actually standing on a building. Super. I'm steady now. This is, I can't do it. <laughs> Even though there's no real danger to Chris, his brain is perceiving threat. His stress is kicking in. Episode 2, Shock. Chris heads to the icy Arctic in his search for health and longevity. Ice baths are a universal practice in longevity. Sauna and cold plunge routine that I do. It's made a giant difference and it just makes me feel great. I get out of here and I just feel wonderful. I feel calm. Well, a sauna and even hot baths. Joe Rogan does it, St. Pierre does it, but Chris takes it to an entirely new level, swimming in the Arctic Ocean. After three days of training, Chris will attempt a cold water swim that's gonna test his body to the absolute limit. 250 yards across a bone-chilling Arctic fjord, wearing nothing but swimming trunks and a smile. Does performing an activity make a difference? Because most people just sit in the hot pool, the cold pool. I'm impressed. Oh, I don't think we've proved that point, right? Can we get out? Right, hang on, give me 30 more seconds. Oh, what? Wait, can you feel that blood going away from the extremities? Oh, I can feel all sorts of pain. Putting the body to extremes like this is potentially dangerous, but the body's reaction to it is to protect itself and keep itself alive. But we've got this temperature cranked up to about 195 degree yeah. Fahrenheit. So let's see where you are in a couple of minutes. I guess I gotta get used to this heat. And just as exercise is known to help with cardiovascular disease, I think sauna has a number of those benefits as well. Like a workout. Yeah. Yeah. It, it also goes back to how beneficial stress is, yeah, right? Yeah. And absolutely. stressing our bodies in any way is, is it forces us to adapt and evolve and change. Yeah. Well we just our body wants to stay in a certain temperature range. 
And right now we're pushing ourselves way outside that comfort zone. And in the process of adaptation, our body protects us by increasing the production of these special molecules called heat shock proteins, which are extremely effective in the fight against disease. The two places where sauna is having the most benefit is in cardiovascular disease, where it is about a 50% reduction in risk of death, and Alzheimer's disease, where it's about a 65, 66% reduction. Whoa. Yeah, this exceeds that of virtually any drug that we can imagine. Incredible. That's from simply taking frequent saunas, fired up to around 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Peter explains how a traditional practice like sauna far outperforms billions of dollars of pharmaceutical research and drugs. Oh boy. How do we feel, boys? <laughs> Oh, I feel, I feel felt like I was going to vomit. For me, it's like absolute yeah. agony. Yeah. Does training for this actually make any difference? Well, it's, I don't know if it's, you, if it's any less uncomfortable or you're just more familiar with being uncomfortable. And I feel like definitely having done it a few times, you're like, okay, yeah. this is what it is. But yeah. I don't know that there's a massive change in my body because it's yeah. still pretty uncomfortable. It's but, still pretty but, yeah. incredible. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Episode three, fasting. Four days, no food. But can fasting make Chris live longer? Since I was playing Thor, I've definitely ate a lot more food than I used to. Each meal is about a thousand calories. Ice cream, big juicy steaks, straight in there. Burgers, pad thai, pasta, ribs, sausage rolls, pizza, cake, donuts, hot dogs. I mean, I do know that what I put into my body is important, but what I didn't know is that the best thing I could eat if I want to live a long and healthy life is nothing. Absolutely nothing. He wants me to go on a fast. It's basically water and zero calories for four days. It is clear that the production had professional science advisory specifically in longevity. So it's a pretty long time. Why, why four days? Why not? Why not longer? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what, is the, what is the benefit with four days? Why that number? Three to four days is probably that window at which we do enough to change how your body is interacting with mm. the absence of nutrients to basically do kind of a reboot on your system. Oh, really? The prevailing advice is the 12-hour eating window where breakfast is most essential with small lunch and small dinner, and the three to four times a year for the four day fast. Stay hydrated. Starting to think this could be the most difficult four days of my life. And not forgetting going vegan or whole food plant-based. If you are into longevity, I suggest getting the whole series. The six lessons represent decades of research. I'm just looking at it. I'm just looking. I'm not eating anything. Episode four, strength. Chris discovers how his muscles can help him live longer with an epic rope climb. So have you done much stuff like this before? Like no. this kind of scale? Dangled like off. Cable carts and a rope. Yeah. A thousand feet off the ground, no. no. Strangely. <laughs> Richard? That is a hundred foot rope dangling from a thousand feet straight down into that canyon. What I'm proposing is you dangle at the bottom, climb all the way up. Ha, 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 ha.
So how did I end up staring at a 100-foot rope dangling over an abyss? Playing action roles like Thor means that I've spent a decade maintaining superhero-type muscles. But a few months ago, I decided to find out if my body's on course for a healthier future. There are more than 600 muscles in the human body. And for longevity, you've got to make good use of as many as possible. So when I assessed Chris's muscular power and efficiency, his flexibility and agility, I found he could be working a wider range of those muscles. No, that's it. Let's go two, one, that's it. Done. And he could improve his stamina. Your test results were not consistent with someone who is gearing up to be the best, most robust 90-year-old of all time. So it's a pre-shirt off scene routine. Just do a lot of high reps, a lot of different exercises. I'm currently tipping the scales at more than 230 pounds. And it's a full-time job just to maintain it. But on the rope, all that extra bulk is just going to weigh me down. I'm going to keep this shape for the rest of the movie. But then I'm going to try and drop a little bit of the weight for that for the rope climb. And I think at the moment, the heavier I am, the more weight I'm pulling up the rope, obviously. So work on some endurance and speed now and back off a little bit on the, on the weight training. Right now, most people are working out to pack on muscle, but there's a whole lot more to it than that when it comes to longevity. Episode five, memory. Chris has always worked to keep his body healthy. Now it's time to challenge his brain. Chris gets the news that he has APOE Alzheimer's gene. I've looked at every gene in your body six ways to Sunday. We did find a couple of things that are a cause for concern. Right. Some of the genetic testing that we did looked at a gene for a protein called APOE. You have a very rare combination, which is you have two copies of APOE4, a set from your mom and a set from your dad. And what does that mean exactly? That means you have an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. Mm. How much higher? Probably somewhere between eight and 10 times higher than that of someone in the general population. Genes load the gun, the environment pulls the trigger. You know, you're, uh, I don't know, you're constantly thinking you're gonna live forever, especially as a young, individual and then to all of a sudden be told oh this may be the thing that might take you out was like whoa and he has discovered sauna and possibly more therapies to help the environmental factor these are largely western diseases due to western lifestyle and industrialization poisons in the air food and water the predominance of parkinson's in farming areas of the usa and germany Metal on metal hip replacements now banned with a result of metallosis, metal toxicity in the blood cause dementia. Chapter six, acceptance. Chris's quest for eternal youth fast forwards him to the end of his life. Now, immortality is not about acceptance. Instead, steering the tech as far as possible in the direction of radical life extension our role is to cure aging, not to accept it, using science and resources. Let's not settle for hospitals and pharmaceuticals, or a time and community nursing homes and aged care. We should work to eliminate these aspects of aging altogether. Take a trip down memory lane. To the lady who had cancer at the end, like Chris learned longevity, she can also learn cancer prevention and survival techniques. They might not be cures altogether, but it might just tip scales to your favor great tv series fully recommended tony over and out